Hey guys, it's Tammy. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm finally showing you guys my makeup collection and how I store it. Now I have a ton of disclaimers because these videos always do, right? <laughs> I have a lot of makeup because makeup is my job. It's like how fashion bloggers have a lot of clothes and food bloggers eat a lot of food. I am a makeup blogger, so of course I have a lot of makeup. I'm lucky enough to get sent quite a lot of this makeup, but some of it I have purchased myself as well. I'm not doing this video to show off um literally i have been requested to do this video so many times and i've been putting it off for like a year now because i feel like my collection's never looking right like i want everything to have a place and i want everything to be color coordinated and laid out perfectly but i've just come to a realization that that's not my life and that's never gonna happen for me i throw things wherever there's space because that's just my life so i'm just gonna show you how i store my collection um i have dusted a little bit but if you do see a little dust on some products excuse it or just ignore it because um obviously i have a large collection not everything does get used every single day so is there anything else i wanted to say if you do want to see uh, a tutorial for the look that i have on right now it should be on my instagram page very soon so definitely stay tuned for that on my lips i'm wearing the beauty bakery liquid lipstick in something chocolate kiss i think um i will link list <laughs> i will list it down below for you guys oh also i'm gonna film this video right now it's on my camera but i am gonna film it with my phone because it's just easier to carry around the room and the quality is just as good so i'm just gonna be using my iphone to film so if it is a little bit shaky i'm sorry about that but yeah now let's just go ahead and jump straight into the video okay guys so when you first come into my room this is what you can see this is the right hand side where i have my filming setup my makeup some more makeup in these two alex drawers here um and then to my left i have a clothing rack which i'm not going to be sharing with you guys today but i also have my perfumes and like uh body sprays and some pixie toners over there also some body creams over there so hold on let me light this area up yeah i hope that's a bit better so my favorite perfume is moschino and lady million but i also love this floral street one and on top of here i just have like a little money gun from the lottie london x tweely i have like an oral b box I don't like getting rid of good boxes that have like because it has my name on it look oh I've got another <laughs> Valentine's box from the body shop yeah I've just got like stuff up here that looks pretty and then like this little plant pot that I got from Ikea and then this long um cupboard I got from Ikea as well it's like a bathroom cupboard okay so these are all makeup bags that I'm not using but I could see myself using like traveling with or whatever um then here we have extra skincare so skincare I'm not using at the minute so like for example all of these pixie stuff I already have um this L'Oreal skin scrub I already have like open ones that I'm using right now so these are kind of like backups then we have like loads of face masks here so this is like skincare stuff then next we have these are all the stuff that i want to give away to you guys like i need to get myself together and do a giveaway so anytime i get something that i know i'm just not going to use or i don't want it or it's a double i put it in here and i'm going to do like giveaways for you guys there's like bags and bags back there then down here we just have like extra sponges and also this style pro cleaner which i love i can't live my life without this style pro as you guys can see i've like gone through I've, I've gone through one bottle of this but now this is my second bottle and it's almost finished i've also got some like selfie lights in there and a little bit of eye mask back there it's kind of like miscellaneous stuff but the next one is just like bags and then at the bottom i have like scarves and stuff and a little bit of makeup but i'm not going to show you guys that because it's a mess so now we're going to turn around and we're going to go to my desk so this is my filming setup if you guys ever wanted to know i have two soft boxes a ring light and then my camera right there um and then all of my brushes i know i have more brushes over there as well those ones are like dirty and these are kind of semi-clean <laughs> um i do like to collect brushes i am a brush lover so you guys can probably tell that i've also got my go-to setting sprays i do have more over there which i'll show you guys later so these are eye brushes and then these are face brushes this big thing that's oh gosh let me move everything out the way this big thing that's oh my god yeah this big pot that's holding all of these brushes i got in a pr package from the beauty blender foundation but it's just like a long acrylic storage box and i just decided to put all of my brushes in there how cool is this brush from revolution um but yeah i just put all of my face brushes in there and then i just put like my go-to setting sprays right in front here 
and then over here i have like my go-to nude lips so they're all like nude lip glosses nude liquid lipsticks nude uh normal lipsticks they're just easy to grab and they're like the shades that i go for the most so yeah those are my go-to nudes and then here i just have my laptop and my notebook my laptop's always connected to well not always but when i'm filming it's connected to my camera so i can see what i'm doing now moving on to this side of my table i have more brushes guys surprise surprise these brushes are like dirty or brushes that i'm currently using on my face right now so these ones are like the clean ones that i can easily reach for if i want a clean brush but uh, oh <laughs> does anyone else have that where you've just got like a pile of eyelashes that you're sure you're gonna use again <laughs> um but yeah these are just like my dirty brushes that i'm still using right now they're not ready well they are ready for the wash but I'm not ready to wash them yet so they just sit there and then I have these two kind of acrylic drawers over here let me sit down for a bit so these ones are really old as you can see like these ones look newer and cleaner but these ones I got from Muji like years and years ago and this one I got recently from Amazon I think or eBay if I can find it I will list it down below for you guys but I recommend this one don't get this one basically these are two separate so these drawers are one and then these drawers are one whereas this drawer came like all together and it just has more room so i definitely recommend this one more if anything i want to get another one of those and put it here instead because these ones just look old and dusty i could probably wipe them down but <laughs> who has the time or who can be bothered more like <laughs> so let me start over here with what's inside here so the top drawer is just like my go-to eyeliners and like eye tools so like sharpeners and tweezers and eyelash applicators and then this is just like a Fenty Beauty mirror just so if I need a mirror I can grab it as if I don't have enough mirrors around me <laughs> so yeah these are like my eyeliners and stuff the next drawer is my eye primers so we have um the p louise base of course and the revolution cut crease canvas and we have like some revolution concealers back there revolution again revolution glitter glue um la splash glitter glue over there also i have my lash glue in here my favorite one is the revlon precision clear because it comes with a wand and it just so it's just so easy to use so the next drawer is like lip balms and you know anything to hydrate the lip is over here then my go-to lip liners are here now these are lip liners that I use like on an everyday basis which is why they're all like that dark brownie color because I love dark brown lip liners so yeah and then the next drawer are the new these are kind of like lipsticks that I love but they don't fit over there because that's all filled up so I've just started putting them in here now so these are the new Huda Beauty nude lipsticks which I love the formula on these is so pigmented and so creamy and it just feels so beautiful on the lips also the Fenty Beauty gloss I am obsessed with I use this I used to use this every single day and I had to stop myself because I was like it's gonna finish and I don't want to repurchase another one for what how many 16 pounds oh my god but I love that also the lime crime lip glosses the wet cherry lip glosses they are beautiful this formula is amazing and they smell delicious I love this lip gloss as well I think I just have a thing for lip glosses with a big doe foot the same way I like concealers with a big doe foot so the next one is empty so I have room to grow and then the next one is face powders so these are the powders that I reach for every day I literally only use this one <laughs> the rest are there just for decoration no, I'm joking sometimes I use the revolution one I haven't used this one in ages um the max studio fix is beautiful so moving on to this one which is my favorite one because look guys concealer don't you just hear the angels singing when you open this so beautiful so these are my go-to concealers that I use all the time NYX can't stop won't stop Jouer uh Too Faced Born This Way L'Oreal Infallible which I love the elf concealer the sleek life proof concealer the revolution concealer Fenty Beauty concealer I'm not really a fan of this one I love it for carving out my eyebrows um which you'll see in my eyebrow drawer next but as for underneath the eyes like no matter how many times I've tried it guys it really does crease more than um you know these concealers which is why i just don't reach for it anymore but these ones don't crease as much which is why they're my favorite this concealer from nabla which i haven't used in ages then we have the nars and the tarte shape tape and the huda beauty another nars and then another tarte shape tape and then these ones are like my not my favorite concealers but i can use them if i want to so it's the cover effects power play and the ysl it's called high cover something but guys it 
it doesn't have that much coverage it's like medium at best but yeah then these are like contour sticks so we have the revolution and the fenty beauty and then these are also concealers basically the ones at the front are my go-to faves i use them every day these ones are kind of like eh, you've used these a bit too much maybe you should use something else for today these are the concealers that i go for so like the color pop the uh, collection the maybelline age rewinder some spare nyx can't stop won't stop and the la girl pro concealers so they're not bad concealers but they're just not my favorites you know what i mean so next like i said we have my brow stuff so here's my mascaras that i have on the go right now i have benefit roller lash i have this mark jacobs one but the one that i use every single day is the mascara revolution this is my bad bish okay this is my thing i love this mascara so much clear brow gels but i don't really use it because i am obsessed with the benefit give me brow i use this every single day and also like all of my brow products are benefit the ones that i'm using right now i love this brow what's it called brow contour pro yes i love this pen like it's the clicky pen so i use the darkest shade to outline and then i'll fill in with the medium shade and then you can highlight underneath your eyes with like the lighter shade but i don't tend to do that i go in with my fenty beauty concealer to carve out the brows the next one is empty and then next to it we have foundation so once again these are my go-to foundations that i use all the time i tend to go out with the nyx can't stop won't stop the beauty blender foundation or the maybelline um i was gonna say maybelline can't stop won't stop the maybelline uh super stay foundation those are my go-to when i'm leaving the house because they're just so long lasting and matte but the other foundations i use just for filming so like the nars one i think is quite a radiant foundation i know it's called natural radiant so it's quite a radiant foundation for me and my oily skin it just doesn't last throughout the day like the coverage lasts but it gets really oily for me I can go out and run errands like go pick up the kids from school go to the post office that's that's fine but if I'm going on like events in central London I won't reach for this just because I know I'll be oily by the end of the day same with this and the same with the Too Faced um born this way they're just really radiant foundation so if you have dry skin you'll love them but for me my go-to's nyx can't stop won't stop conceal and define foundation and then the beauty blender foundation i think you guys can tell how much i love it i have two three three of them one of them is literally nearly empty so i have a backup and then luckily two shades do work for me so the shade 4.10 works for me and also 4.15 works for me so yeah the ysl all hours foundation i'm wearing it today Day. and once again it reminds me of the NARS foundation it's like it lasts really well coverage wise but I am getting a little bit too dewy for my liking oh my gosh I love this sleek life proof foundation as well guys this is nearly empty like it's got the littlest amount in there and I'm the shell the shade LP 15 now we're gonna move on to the drawers down at the side of my desk so oh my god I can't even move back so I have five drawers oh I should have wiped them down oh my gosh <laughs> so i have five drawers either side of me by the way this is all of my hair stuff so like hairsprays straighteners curlers brushes you know cream all of the hair stuff is in there so the first drawer is primers so we have of course hold on how do i hold this uh, we have a little cheeky moisturizer here or there um like the rose ceramide cream the elf uh, cream the elf cream again we just have a little bit of moisturizer but mostly primers in here so my go-to primers is the fasali skin tune blur guys if you haven't tried this i know they're expensive but oh my god if you can afford it and you're looking for a really good primer this works amazing i've literally gone through like half the bottle it's amazing i even have a backup like girl it's that serious okay it's amazing the same thing with the pixie rose ceramide cream if you have dry skin which sometimes i do if i um you know take off a mask or whatever i'll have a little bit of dry patches if you go in with this cream oh my gosh guys it is so moisturized look intense moisturizer it's intense okay there's so much moisture in this cream so i definitely recommend it if you have dry skin even if you have oily skin use it before bed at night time just to give your skin that little pick me up amazing uh so we have the wet and wild we have beauty blender nip and fab revolution barry m nyx Too Faced. uh we have tons of primers in here the revolution blur stick the milk blur stick next we have skincare so this is my skincare drawer i have like masks over here 
So this is like the Good In Bed Mask by Glam Glow, which I love. If you put this on before bed and you wake up in the morning, your skin feels so soft, it's ridiculous. I love this. Now these things right here, I live and swear by. This is the Body Shop Tea Tree um, anti inter <laughs> anti imperfection daily solution so this i use to help me with my um, blemishes my acne and also my skin texture it's amazing as you can see i've got three bottles these two are nearly empty so i've gone in with a new one now and um, then we have some moisturizers down here we have some moisturizers down here as well the kills ultra facial cream amazing and i recently bought the bio oil to help my scars on my face so let's see how that goes once i finish the bottle i'll let you guys know but yeah this is skincare the next drawer we have are kind of like backups i don't reach for this drawer often it's got like backup concealers you can see the elf concealers um the Too faced born this way backup some revolution concealer backup and then over here i have like extra eyeliners that when i finish the ones in my drawer i can reach for these ones down here to be honest this drawer could do with a little bit of a clear out because i haven't been through this drawer in ages but to me in my head it's just like backup products then we have backup eyebrow products over here then all of this are extra mascaras that are not open right now you guys can see how much i love these because i could easily give this away to friends and family or you guys but i am not giving these away i need every single backup in the world <laughs> the next drawer we have okay so this is stuff that i want to use in videos eyeshadow palettes over here uh, some pigments and some powder over here some lip products the new huda beauty melted shadows so these are just new products some eye uh, what are these called eye glitters i bought this recently from superdrug the maybelline matte and poreless foundation so these are basically just products that i want to use i got in pr or i purchased myself and i just haven't used them yet but i definitely will use them soon some of you guys asked me to do a video with the new revolution uh, constellation palette so i definitely want to work on that for you guys so that's why it's in here beauty bakery do it for the gram palette and just look at that beautiful so yeah these are just palettes that i haven't gotten around to using yet so they stay in here to oh i wanted to do a test in primark makeup so we have a highlighter two eyeshadow palettes yeah so this is just products i haven't gotten around to using yet but i definitely will be trying them very very soon and then last but not least we have eyelashes in this drawer now you guys might know that i have my own eyelash brand so i don't tend to reach into this drawer often because i'm always using my lashes but if i ever for some reason want to use another brand i do have options here moving on to the other side of my table we have five more drawers now the top drawer is just like miscellaneous stuff you know the junk drawer i have beauty blenders in here a spare mirror in here wet wipes um the next one i have uh bronzers so bronzers and a little bit of blush as well so of course my giant sun kiss bronzer which i love um revolution they released these matte base powders which actually are really nice for like bronzers because they're deeper darker shades as well also benefit recently released this bronze squad um cheek palette and it has um hula caramel which i've been using recently i do wish it was a little bit darker more like this more orangey and deeper but it still works on me for like a very light bronze and then i just have my tropical paradise palette in here and then i have some blushes over here so like obviously i use this a lot this is the revolution Pro pro 4k blush palette in peach and it has all of these beautiful i just love these blushes if you're deeper at darker skin tone and you can't find blushes to work or show up on you these palettes will definitely 100 percent work they're just so vibrant and beautiful and we need more palettes like this in the world also the technic blush palette i absolutely love it's got two highlighters and then some blushes the next drawer we have okay so these are highlighters highlighter palettes and then powders and now bear in mind these are just things that i reach for all the time i do have more highlighters and more powders over there in these drawers but um, we'll get to that so these are highlighters that i absolutely love guys i swear by this highlighter if i could make a highlighter it would be this this is so beautiful on the skin the color is perfect oh i'm holding it upside down it's not glittery it's just that beautiful radiant glow and this is from obsession and it's called mega honey you can get it in boots then we have like a technique highlighter palette this is beautiful as well really cheap as well i think it's like five 
five or six pounds really good beautiful colors this from revolution pro is beautiful these sit on the skin so well then we have the two sleek highlighter palettes over here which i love oh darling do you remember when everyone lost their sh about this like everyone loved this and i love it too you can see how much i've digged into it so yeah love this highlight as well and then for palettes we have like the sub zero by be perfect and mitchell we have the beauty bay living my best light revolution ignite palette um kiko palette we have the shook palette by revolution nyx born to glow this palette is beautiful and then of course we have setting powders so sasha buttercup light powder ben nye um fenty powders laura mercier huda beauty uh black opal yeah tons of oh can't stop won't stop i love this powder hopefully you guys saw my review but love this the next drawer we have are foundations that i'm not currently using so say they're too dark for me or they're too light for me and then last but not least we have a palette drawer so usually guys if i review a palette or use it on my channel i'll just throw it in here after and yeah so for example i use this today and it goes in here i use this in one of my latest videos it goes in here i use this in an insta video recently this is the color pop through my eyes palette so beautiful look at that and then we have the slush palette which you guys know i love um then we have the lime crime venus sample beauty this palette from oh let me get it technic is beautiful if you're into warm tone browns and you have a deeper skin tone this is for you like it's it, it, this has you covered okay it has all of the deep dark warm tone browns let me open it so stop getting the glare yeah there we go oh so beautiful it's like a beautiful gradient of warm tone orangey browns we have the jacqueline hill collection palette over here uh sample beauty tectonic palette beautiful then we have the do you remember i did a video on this the endless possibilities by faux couture beautiful palette then we have the rainbow splash from opv beautiful palette again so yeah just tons of palettes in here jacqueline hill original palette okay guys so this is where i sit and then over here so to the left of me when i'm filming i have these drawers right here so i have two alex drawers you can tell this is my old one and then this is my new one because this one's got like a white tone to it and this one's like yellow <laughs> but um yeah on top of here let's start up here so sleek always send the most beautiful pr packages they're like personalized and everything so i got this one with my picture in it they also sent this one back here which is like my name carved into wood so beautiful so thank you sleek um then we have my palette with revolution of course i have to have that on display proud moment in my career then we have lip liners back here this box is like from one of the revolution um christmas collections a bit bit dusty <laughs> um then this is the pixie glow tonic i've got some spare house keys here um yeah the pixie glow tonic and it has my name on it can you guys see that is it focused there we go we have some more nude lip glosses over here so we have a collection of mac then we have pixie liquid lipsticks then we have some uh lime crime some la splash some huda beauty nip and fab so these are just like go-to nude colors then round the back here i got this um skincare well it's not for skincare you can use it for anything but it's this like spinny thing i got it from amazon so i will try and remember to link that down below for you guys but i use it to store my skincare well these are not skincare i just think they look super pretty these are uh le bouton liquid eyeshadows and i just think they look super cute there so i have like ordinary and revolution skincare up here i have this uh blemish control mask which i got from Superdrug. i have this i love these two masks if my skin if i wake up and my skin just feels like no bish these are the two that i go for like they just drag everything out of my skin and it just feels so soft and clean and i love these two they're quite expensive i think they're on cult beauty but totally worth the price guys honestly if you want your skin to just feel like brand new these are the ones let me move around here so i'm not blocking the light so here we have the l'oreal section so these are like l'oreal face mask which 
actually this is a dupe for the glam glow these do the exact same thing they draw everything out of your skin and just leave your skin feeling brand new again so yeah if you really can't afford the glam glow definitely go for these they do the exact same thing and then these two are the l'oreal sugar scrubs so like you just like rub it on your face and it gets all of the dead skin off and i absolutely love it this is the sugar one and then this is the coffee one i believe uh then we have toners here so we have body shop toners then this new one from wet and wild which i got literally like today or yesterday by the way this is my oil that i use to remove my makeup as you can see is dirty but um i'm nearly finished so yeah i just squirt this all over my face to remove my makeup okay guys so my phone actually died so i went ahead and got a little snack while it charged and now we're on 20 percent. so let's see how much we can get through on 20 percent. so starting with the top drawer actually before i go into it let me just tell you there is a method to my madness okay it may look a bit crazy but I know where everything is and I just yeah it works for me okay I'm not one of those people like this is probably the neatest part of my collection okay this color coordinated looking pretty yeah it ends there <laughs> So the first draw I have is like PR stuff that I want to use. Not gonna lie to you guys, this stuff has been sitting here for a few months. Like I've been wanting to do a test in Rude Cosmetics for a while now. I've been wanting to use this Barry M palette for it. Oh, look how beautiful that is for a while now. This is the only thing that's new to the um, draw. This has come from Technic. They're like Huda Beauty dupes. Um, but everything else, like these Technic palettes, I've been wanting to use for a while now, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Also, so the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I've been meaning to, use, meaning to use this as well. Also, I am sipping on some Baileys. So if I do sound a little bit happier, <laughs> that's why. The next draw is, okay, so this is just like stuff that fits here. So these are two eyeshadow palettes, like some darkening foundation drops, the Iconic Loose Pigment palette, a Fasali Jelly Beam. These are just like miscellaneous. They could fit here, so I put it here. Then on this side, we have like cream contour products that I'm not really using at the moment, but if I ever want to cream contour. So you guys saw I had the Fenty Beauty Stick and the Revolution Stick. Those are my main go-to products, but if I do ever want to try something else for cream contour, I have like the Iconic Sticks. I have the LA Girl Pro Concealer in darker shades. I have the Sleek uh, Contour Kit, a Revolution Contour Kit back there, a darker foundation. Yeah, just loads of stuff to contour with. Black Opal Stick. Um, but I rarely ever cream contour nowadays. So yeah, this stuff doesn't really get used, but it's here just in case. <laughs> the next draw we have are liquid lipsticks on this side and then lipsticks on this side. Like I said, there's a method to my madness, okay? I don't really use liquid lipsticks that much anymore. Um, I don't know if it's because it's the winter time, but my lips feel so dry all the time. So I just stick to like lip glosses, nude, normal lipsticks. So these are just stuff that I'm not really reaching for at the moment. But once in a while, I do go through this and like make sure that any old lipsticks are thrown out so that because one time I used an old lipstick guys and my lips literally started burning so you always want to make sure that you're using in-date makeup okay you may just think like with eyeshadow palettes it's like okay you know but with like foundations mascaras liquid lipsticks lip glosses stuff like that like liquid products you want to make sure that you are throwing them out every uh, 18 months or 24 months however many months are on the label make sure you are throwing it out because your lips will have a reaction like mine's did and it's not too pretty okay then we also have like lipsticks i have a lot of sugar pill lipsticks i have some more pixie liquid lipsticks i have some huda beauty these are like the metallic ones uh so yeah liquid lipsticks and lipsticks i'm wearing this one today by the way guys this was the one i was wearing at the beginning so it's called chocolate for breakfast the next draw we have are lip glosses so yeah lip glosses there's not much i can say they are glossy lip products <laughs> so we have like some iconic plumping lip glosses we have some revolution pro we have some lime crime lip glosses obsession huda beauty um i don't think these are huda beauty glosses i think these are the demi mattes yeah the demi mattes which are more like a satin finish i suppose so yeah those are in here as well uh, we also have some tart so these are like double-sided so you have like a lipstick up here and then a lip gloss down at the bottom yeah i'm really into like lip glosses at the moment so this drawer also all of these are backups 
I already have these sitting on my desk. I love this, guys. These are like everyday new type of lip glosses and I wear them every single day. These are backups, like I said, to the I Heart Revolution, I Heart Chocolate Lip Glosses. The next drawer we have are eyeshadow palettes. Now these are like smaller palettes. I do have another drawer with like big 35 pan palettes and all of that stuff and you did see my drawer earlier of like newer palettes I suppose but these are like small palettes that kind of fit you know slot in here so we have like the NARS palette we have the Lottie London X Tweely palette which is a gorgeous palette we have a lime crime palette bh cosmetics it's my ray ray some folk or your palettes nyx palettes then we have the huda beauty and the beauty glaze palettes remember i did comparisons for every single one of these so make sure you guys check that out we have the kat von d lolita palette which i love the colors in here and they actually come out darker than how they appear which is an, a good thing for my skin tone so yeah great palette then we have the Kat Von D shade and light palette NYX sugar trip I love this and I think this is on sale by the way guys really really nice formula bright colorful palette gorgeous and then we have like the NYX fire palette gorgeous palette again um we have the naked palette Fenty Beauty palette naked cherry naked heat these two are my favorite naked palettes then we have a, a few ABH palettes like the Norvina the soft glam we have a Zoeva palette in the back sigma yeah just loads of eyeshadow palettes in here the next drawer we have okay <laughs> backup bronzers and contours and also like blushes that i don't really use every single day to be honest i've had this uh blusher drawer for a while i could probably declutter some of these because i haven't used like this blush in ages or like this la girl blush i don't even know if these are still available guys it's been forever like oh my god back in the days when i first started my channel i used to rave about this blush palette for deeper skin tones it was so cheap i don't even know if beauty treats is still a thing like if they're still a brand i have no idea but this blush palette is so pigmented um yeah and then of course sunkiss were lovely enough to send me like backups of the um giant bronzer that i love so much they have informed me that it has been discontinued but i have backups so i'm happy but the only bad thing is i can't really use it on my channel anymore because you guys can't get it so now we're moving on to the older drawer as you can see so these are basically alex drawers from ikea they're the wide ones rather than the long ones so this drawer is is all of my other highlighters so we have like highlight palettes on this side and then like single highlighters cream highlighters to be honest i could get rid of all of the cream highlighters because i'm just not a liquid cream highlighter person but in my head i'm always like in summer i could put it all over my body do you know what i mean this is really nice to put all over your body in summer this is the technic strobe cream in caribbean sunset beautiful golden glow but like things like this like tell me what are you gonna do with this <laughs> i really should declutter you know my drawers let me know if you want a decluttering video it'll probably be longer than this one but anyways like for example this is a top shop highlighter i don't even know if they do this anymore i know top shop still has a makeup line but i don't think it looks like this anymore so yeah these could probably go because they're like really old i have like bobby brown i have this gosh highlighting palette which is beautiful i have this color pop one i think the highlighters in here are more like creamy highlighters that they, they don't pick up well on a brush put a beauty uh primer color pop anastasia nyx this highlighting palette is gorgeous as well if i can open it there we go yeah beautiful highlighters for medium deep skin tones I have lime crime this palette is beautiful as well this highlighter right here this shade oh my gosh guys beautiful if i could depot that i would put it in uh, my drawer over there because the other two shades i don't really see myself using like the purple and then the other shade is just too dark for me but this gold so beautiful love it this one's the lottie london imagination pa uh, not palette <laughs> the imagination collection and this one's the shade loyalty i could definitely see myself putting this all over my body in the summer same with this this is the jlo x inglot collection so yeah that is highlighters oh gosh the next drawer we have okay so this is all nyx lip products nyx went through a like phase where they just sent a million lip products to me and i was like thank you so much <laughs> because i absolutely love these lipsticks they're basically dupes for the huda beauty lipsticks they're so 
pigmented however they did come out before the huda beauty lipstick so yeah maybe huda beauty duped their formula i don't know but this formula is amazing guys so pigmented so creamy but they dry down to like a satin finish and they last really long really love and they come in like a million shades and then back here we just have some more nyx stuff i believe this was their christmas collection so this is the duo chromatic lip gloss and then in this tin it's a tin full of glitters i think when this came out i was shocked by the price like guys how many glitters are in here 10 glitters and a glitter glue and it was like 65 pounds i was like nyx you are kidding me that is so expensive for glitters because you could go onto like ebay and get glitters for like five pound but really nice packaging i love the packaging of this okay so over here we have face powders that i don't really use okay so the next drawer we're getting down to the end glitter these are i really need to organize this drawer guys i mean i could do better <laughs> i could lay them all out so like they're all organized and everything but yeah colored eyeliners so like uh, waterline eyeliners as well as liquid eyeliners in colors liquid glitter eyeliners mostly by like la splash but like um this brand i got from ebay really good liquid cheap liquid gift glitters these two colors are beautiful glitters so you have like this rose gold one and then you have this purpley blue one honestly la splash do amazing liquid glitters uh then we have like these are the la splash glitter pigment type of things barry m lip holographic lip topper not lip topper eyeshadow topper is amazing guys i highly recommend these if you want like glittery duochrome eyeshadows that are easy to apply this is it uh and then also we have like technic liquid glitters beautiful and then we have like the festival glitters so the chunky ones that you put all over your body uh from barry m again we have some glitters from this brand called new look how beautiful glitters just look so gorgeous and then we have like the revolution collection of glitters as well the next drawer is more glitter <laughs> but also pigments in this one there's pigments and also like colored eyeliner like you know the revolution colored eyeliners the huda beauty melted shadows in here the perfect liquid glitters in here um and then underneath all of the madness i have loads of sample beauty pigments which i absolutely love their pigments they're so foiled and so obviously pigmented <laughs> more liquid glitters from pixie which i really like these as well um then we have some pigments from la splash we have some sugar pill pigments as well so just loads of pigments i really need to organize this better because it all just looks like the next drawer is my favorites from revolution this is like my favorite drawer so of course i have another one of my palette i have Kami's palette i have soph's palette i have this highlighter palette oh my gosh guys this highlighter palette is beautiful if you are medium dark deep dark skin you need this this is so pigmented it shows up beautifully this palette from the christmas collection not not 2018 christmas 2016 17 christmas beautiful like <gasps> the palette dreams are made of guys like warm tones have my heart honestly beautiful i think it's still available as well and it has beautiful packaging and it's called guest list the ones they launched this year i feel like i like the packaging more than the shades on the inside Do you know what i mean like the packaging is beautiful but the shades oh, but the shades on the inside are just like meh i mean they're still beautiful my favorites are of course the foiled shades at the top but like the matte shades i don't know i feel like they could have been deeper more vibrant just for my skin tone personal preference now these are amazing guys you guys have probably seen these but these are the pressed glitter palettes which i love this one is my favorite it's like a bright red warm tone glitter um and i believe these are only 10 pounds and oh they're just amazing then of course we have everyone's favorite sorry not you i still like you but not you everyone's favorite four pound palettes these are the reloaded palettes they're literally four pounds and you get 15 eyeshadows the shade selection are amazing these two are my favorite so the top one is neutrals 2 and then this one is neutrals 3 and i just like i said i love warm tones the shades are deep enough to show up on deeper skin tones and it's just amazing for four pounds yes girl and then on this side i have all of my highlighters that i love from revolution i have my favorite ones of course in the drawers at my desk that i showed you but these ones are still beautiful i love this one 
This is the Pro Glow 2 palette, which once again, for medium dark, deep dark skin tones, this is your go-to palette. The first one is here, and it's, it's still a beautiful palette, but it's quite like light and stuff. Whereas I feel like Pro Glow 2 has more deeper, bronzy, goldy type of colors. I just prefer Pro Glow 2 than Pro Glow. Then we have like Revolution Pro highlighters. This is dupe for MAC Gold Deposit, I believe. And then we have this beautiful triple baked bronzer, but it's definitely more of a highlighter for, um, oh, not this one. The other one I love is somewhere else. We'll get to that. The second Revolution drawer is here at the bottom. Now this has like Revolution Pro, Obsession, uh, More Revolution Pro, I Heart Revolution, Obsession. So these are like uh, Revolution sister brands. Obsession palettes, I really like these palettes actually. Obsession is such an underrated brand. Their quality is amazing. Um, the price point is amazing. They're sold in boots. And this one, how beautiful, glittery. Stunning warm tone shades on the inside and I love the packaging. So yeah, Obsession is definitely a brand to check out if you're interested. All of the Revolution lip stuff that I don't keep on my desk. I mean, I do keep some, like my fave, fave, favorite shades, but these are like other shades that I just don't keep on my desk. Maybe I should keep this on my desk. That is beautiful. It's called Head Turner. Yes, you are, honey. To be honest, I just don't have the space on my table, but I definitely, ooh, do you know what? We're gonna make space for you, honey. <laughs> so yeah, that is my Alex Draws, all 10 of them. Is it 10? All 12 of them. So now what we're gonna do is move on to this section over here. Don't worry, some of these are like hair, nails, um, you know, hair straightening, stuff like that. They're not all makeup. We're, we're nearly at the end, guys, don't worry. Okay, guys, so this part, I'm just gonna kind of speed through it because there's not tons of makeup here, so we don't have to go through like all of the drawers. So we're just gonna start over here. So of course I have my 100K plaque from YouTube. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I love you so much and thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna be hanging it up here. And these are two pictures that were made by two amazing subscribers subscribers of mine and I absolutely love them and I had them printed out um, on my wall and I just love this artwork so so much um, so I'm gonna put my plaque somewhere maybe to cover that horrendous hole that I tried to put a shelf in um, I might put it there and then we have like highlighters so this was the highlighter I was talking about from Revolution that I just absolutely love it's called a bronzer but for deeper skin tones this would be an amazing highlighter I use it all the time or I used to use it all the time until I found like a million others that I love as well this one too this one by Revolution is gorgeous I'm not going to open all of them because it will take forever but this one is really really good I usually only keep the ones that are good for deeper skin tones because of course I'm not just going to have like super light champagne colors lying around my house for no reason so i only keep the ones that are like suitable for me and look how beautiful that is so that one is called highlight compact opulence and we have like a highlighter from ingla i bought this when i was in the shop yeah and i haven't even used it till now like guys i don't know why i buy makeup anymore because to be honest <laughs> I have way too much stuff. I bought this as well from MAC. Do you remember when this came out and it has Whisper of Guilt and everyone was like, oh my God, you need to get this. It's still a beautiful thing, but I mean, I just, I didn't need to buy it. It has that gorgeous Whisper of Guilt at the top and then this shade as a blusher. Do you know what? If this was near my desk, I would probably use this more, but because it's over here, I just don't use it. Do you remember this highlighter? Oh my gosh, it looks beautiful actually. It's called Indiscretion. Yeah, it does look like a beautiful highlight actually. I might need to move some of these over to my table so I could use them more because I'm literally gathering dust. Then we have like the MAC Mariah Carey highlighter. I use this a lot and then I was like, actually, it's limited edition. Let me not use it up. Let me just put it away and stop it. So yeah. <laughs> 
Then this is a new thing I got from Benefit, you know, their palette, but instead of throwing out the box, I decided to use it as a jewelry thing. So I've just put my jewelry in there. Uh, moving on to this side, we have this LED light up box. I got mine from B&M, but you can get it from eBay, you know, anywhere like that. I have another fake plant, which I got from Ikea. And then I have a couple pictures from a few events. So this is the Raw Techniques event and the NYX event. Now over here, we have setting sprays and like, uh, what are these called like the body glow sprays the iconic spray this thing from Technic I love to use like when I'm going out and if I have my legs out or I have my chest out I use this as like a highlighter bronzer type of thing to give me an even skin tone and I love this from Technic it's called perfect pin um yeah and I just have like setting sprays as backup so when I do run out of the ones on my desk I have more to use. Now moving down, I got these um, storage things from B&M, both of them. I believe they were like £30 each. And then I bought the white baskets from eBay, was it? Or Amazon, something like that. So let me get on my knees. That's what she said. <laughs> so over here, I have my I Heart Revolution chocolate collection. So these are all of the chocolate palettes. Then over here, we have some brushes. These are like dirty brushes that I need to wash. So that's why they're all sitting over here. Same for that, same for that. Okay, don't judge me. Moving on, down here we have, this is my other Revolution drawer. So these are like new products that have come out from Revolution. So many of you guys have been asking me to review the Shook palette. To be honest with you guys, I'm not feeling it. I feel like everyone's loving it and I'm just not feeling it. The size of the pans is really putting me off. Like they're so tiny. Can you guys see that? Like my my baby finger is bigger than the pan. It's so small and it just doesn't appeal to me. So I haven't used this palette to be honest and I won't be using it. Then in here, we just have like wet wipes and you know, cotton pads and ear stuff, just stuff to like take the makeup off, I suppose um yeah then in here i have like hair cream shampoos you know my hair dryer just hair stuff and then in this one i have like nail stuff so i have stick on nails i have nail polish remover nail files you know nail polish nail stuff then we have big eyeshadow palettes in here so like i said these are the big 35 pan palettes we have some juvia's place palettes we have these are smaller palettes but like we have the sugar pill palette look how well loved this is guys i always bring this palette out when it comes to halloween so yeah this is the sugar pill pro palette morphe palettes uh we have oh my gosh guys when was the last time i used makeup geek in a z palette oh my gosh that's how you know how long i've been on youtube <laughs> and my cocoa bear has hit pan then down here we have like hair dyes and bleach and stuff because you guys know i wear wigs and i like to change my hair color a lot this one is like um orange i definitely want to go orange for the summer maybe we'll see or maybe even spring and then in this one last but not least guys we have more big palettes we have a little palette from carity cosmetics this brand is amazing actually if you love colorful eyeshadows really really good quality pigmented amazing uh then we have all of the morphe palettes and these are like their old palettes because you guys can tell by the old logo neutrals you have shimmers over there and mattes over there i don't use these because they're just like the pa the packaging is just so boring it doesn't like oh yeah i want to use this palette today do you know what i mean but this is the colors on the inside super gorgeous foiled colors and then of course i have the big revolution palettes which are basically dupes for the morphe thank you focus basically dupes for the morphe 35 palettes um and then oh this highlighter palette from revolution is gorgeous so yeah the big palettes are in here and that is the collection Ooh, we made it guys now let me sign out okay guys so we made it through if you made it to the end you a real one okay because i'm exhausted i've got dust all over my fingers because some products haven't been touched in a while but i hope you guys enjoyed getting to see my collection and how i store it and if there's anything you saw in my collection and you want me to do a video using it or you want me to like revisit it then definitely let me know down in the comment section and if i get enough like thumbs up or comments for it i will definitely do that for you guys Guys. so that is it from me make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up make sure you are subscribed and i'll catch you guys in my next video take care bye